what's up everyone got another video for you guys um, another upgrade for the Kramer striker and pretty much I'm gonna probably be doing the same thing on my other guitars um, I bought this claw from Amazon but it's uh, made by musically it's a brass claw it's like probably three or four times the thickness as the as these cheap claws that come in the in the guitars it's just like regular steel and they're just thin flimsy they move around a lot when you're using the, the Floyd Rose um, this thing here is a beast um, it does make a great difference um, it comes this for this brand it comes in one size I believe pole to pole is um, 34 millimeters yeah 34 millimeters from the whole mounting hole screws so measure your before anything if you're before you order it measure your screw mount side to side to see if it's gonna even gonna work because there's uh, I have two other uh, like three other guitars with the tremolos and the other ones have a, a smaller smaller uh, hole to hole size it's like 29 so there's two different ones these manufacturers use and this Kramer it just happened to be the wider one which is 34 millimeters so that's really important make sure you measure this before you order it now there are some manufacturers out there that are making the ones for the 29 millimeter uh, and I got some on order I don't know if they're gonna be like this uh, thickness or if they're gonna be thick like these it doesn't look as thick as this one uh, I'll show you guys the thickness on this. this this thing's a beast uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit focus yeah there you go so look at the thickness on this it's huge and it comes with this little screw right here so you, you don't have to weld your negative wire onto it just um, put it strip it put it in there and tighten this hole make sure it's tight and doesn't come out and you're good um, these little poles here have a little groove inside for the spring which is great you know it's uh, like kind of like a contour so the springs actually have uh, when you use the Floyd Rose they they have a chance to move around and then and get back where they need to be you know they won't get stuck or anything um, not like these not like this one here so if you look at the difference let's see this one's a little bit uh, I guess you can say dimension wise it's a little bit longer not wider but longer like where the springs attach right here uh, very little it's it's a little bit and the only difference is you'll have to put your screws in a little bit further into the body to get it get the Floyd Rose where it needs to be that's pretty much all I experienced uh, that I had to adjust but I mean yeah this thing's a beast and I have to say it makes a huge difference with the uh, resonance and vibration in the guitar um, I noticed a lot of sustain like noticeably a lot of sustain in tuning stability it made a huge difference um, I could use the Floyd Rose and up and down and then it just stays in tune before it was if I think my my problem was this thing here before and it's just flimsy ass crap shit they put in the, the guitars so I would recommend this for anybody um, like I said just measure your mount holes first um, although if you have the other uh, ones with the mount holes that are a little bit less like a 29 millimeter you could probably drill the holes right here two new holes okay it won't it won't interfere with the previous holes they're just gonna be a little bit more to the side but mm, don't take my word for it just make sure they're gonna have enough space for you to drill the new holes um, I don't know that's just a, a thought you know but like I said they make some other ones with the for the 20, 29 millimeter 
Uh, let me read to you guys here what it says. And this thing is 20 bucks, okay? So me, like I love modifying and working on guitars and stuff. So this is nothing for me. Um, some people don't like changing stuff. Like uh, My other previous video I did was about the stainless steel uh, upgrade for the Floyd World Special. The screws, stainless steel, and uh, that thing worked great for me. Some people are, you know, saying that you shouldn't mix the metals, but the threads, as long as the threads the same, uh, they're gonna fit. Nothing's gonna strip unless you over tighten. Okay, nothing's nothing's wrong with that. Putting the stainless steel screws onto the the zinc alloy. Okay, yeah, of course, zinc alloy is a lot softer and it could break if you over tighten, but don't over tighten okay um, anyways this is a uh, says here fits Fender Floyd Rose Ibanez and many other tremolo bridge systems uh, just make sure you measure them like I said before because some of them drill those and these screws differently the claw locks the ground wire and holds the springs firmly increasing resonance enhancing tone and improving tuning stability yes it does um, I felt it right away uh, my guitar when I'm playing it um, last night like I was playing it in I could feel my, <laughs> on my stomach the the resonance the vibration the whole body vibrates like a lot better you know so that therefore it does increase sustain um, it was pretty crazy like I'm like damn I didn't think I was gonna notice but I did and guys for 20 bucks try it Okay, if you don't like it, you know, put your old claw back on it. That's it, you know. Uh, next, it says heavy-duty style full brass claw with brass screws. So these screws are brass. I put these back in. Uh, if your other screws are thicker or something, just put leave your other screws. Because you don't want to strip either. Uh, CNC precision engineered, good sustain and anti-corrosion. The length is 50 millimeters. Mounting screw hole spacing is 34 millimeters. It says please check your guitar back cavity size before you buy. So yeah, just you know, make sure it's gonna fit. Yeah, measurements are online. I'll put the link on the description, guys. Um, but yeah, it's a awesome. I think it's an awesome upgrade um, for any guitar with like a Floyd Rose or a trim. If if you can fit it, you know. Um, let's see. get some sound out of it here The, when you hit the A and you notice a lot like it, it, that chord stays a lot it sustains a lot And the tuning stability is like very noticeable guys well uh hope you guys like the video don't forget to subscribe like uh leave a comment below um just subscribe it leaves it, it helps the channel a lot uh we're getting subscribers and we're just you know we're gonna keep going here uh we'll get some more videos going i uh, got some more parts coming in and uh, we'll check them out thank you guys rock on